did it kind of add a little bit there at the end? Just getting a little bit of a, of a relief, weather-wise. Yeah. No, we need cooler. we need the heat. Okay. We live in the heat and to breathe the heat, uh, and that makes us tough. And it's kind of what separates us apart. Just being in this program, being in South Florida, uh, dealing with those conditions, whether it's rain or hot as hell outside, it shouldn't matter, you know. So, I'm sure they probably appreciate it being a little cooler, but I wish it just stayed hot the whole time. I need that. Yeah. What have been your first couple impressions of what you've seen? It's only day four, but your thoughts on just the offense right now, where it stands? Uh, we got more talent than we ever had at every single position. Uh, we got really good depth now. Got some young guys who don't know what the heck is going on, which is kind of normal for young guys. They got to grow up in a hurry because those guys can help us from a depth standpoint, but also possibly beating some guys out to possibly end up earning some starting jobs. But we're just too much of a roller coaster. We got some super, super tough dudes on offense. Not enough of them. A handful of guys who come out every single day and they're physical, mentally tough, and they finish everything. Um, those guys have the command from the rest of the group so we can bring it every day as a whole, as a unit. And we have some really bright moments and uh, some really terrible moments, which is, we can't have that. We gotta be consistent every single day. Do you have a sense, you mentioned the young guys, some freshmen that you already know will have a role or some guys that are competing for starting jobs like you just mentioned? Well, I can't say we have a role earlier, just this, you know, this is fourth practice already. Uh, but Brevin Jordan, Will Mallory are going to be really good for us, I think. Uh, those guys are rotating and playing a bunch for us. I still got to learn what to do, got to grow up in a hurry, but they have flashes of, of, of uh, some great plays. Um, you know, obviously Lorenzo's been here already. He continues to work himself into a more more prominent role as he's learning what to do. And he's always a super try hard guy, gives phenomenal effort every day. Uh, Cam Davis uh, has flashes, uh, but he don't get it yet. Obviously, he's a, the newest one to get here. And just from a how we do stuff practice wise, how we finish stuff, uh, the mindset we have every day, he's got a long way to go with that. But he's got really good ball skills, runs the ball well. Uh, I know DJ Scape has been here from since, since January, but uh, really pleased with kind of his progress. He's obviously not there yet, but he's he's definitely worked himself into a rotation and kind of demanding to get more reps in practice. Um, let me thank you, Wells. The freshman receivers, obviously, there's a bunch. Oh of them. heck yeah! I mean, those guys are really fast. They got really good ball skills. I got to learn what to do, learn to line up and function, and uh, also got to learn we we from a skill set standpoint we run all day, and also be a part of special teams and affect that affect the game in that way. Uh, but Mark Pope is, you know, obviously very talented. Um, really, all those guys. I mean, I can't just single any one of those guys out. Every single last one of them that we signed you know, can, can do some different things for us. So I'm really excited about those guys. We just gotta, gotta grow up, gotta bring it in hurry. I gotta mature fast. I know guys haven't got on yet, but what have you seen from the offensive line uh, since the spring? Yeah, I mean, the first five guys are, you know, um, yeah, not perfect, but I feel really good about those guys and those guys coming together and gelling. And uh, Tyler, you know, got the air, leads that group without a doubt. And he does a great job of, of taking charge, taking command. And uh, really one of our best leaders on the entire offense. I think it's hard for O-lineman to lead. Uh, but he does a really good job of, of, of making sure those guys up front definitely on the same page and also putting pressure on the guys behind them. And I would say, you know, DJ Scaife is definitely pushing behind those guys to possibly be the sixth guy in that rotation. The fullback position, I guess Trayon's there. Is he a viable option or realist? Is he more of a true fullback? Uh, I mean, right now, Chalk is the only, Trayon is the only option that we have, in my opinion, just because, uh, I mean, realist is, has the physical tools. He's big enough. Um, doesn't get it here yet. It's about the mentality. In, in high school, he was 40 pounds bigger than everybody else. Uh, these linebackers will knock you slap out. And I don't think he realizes that yet. Uh, he got a little wake-up call yesterday, which hopefully uh, the last time that's going to happen. But it's hard to play the fullback, but this is it's a different different spot, different mentality. Um, he has a physical tool. He's got to get a lot stronger. He's a big dude, size-wise, but strength is going to be definitely uh, take some time to catch up to. But I mean, Chalk can, can get, in, can get in and play fullback and help us function. Um, he's probably one of the strongest on the team. It just hasn't transferred to out the field yet. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing him really cut it loose and, and uh, really see all of his talent. Uh, but right now, he's the only value boss we have in fullback. Thomas, what, what kind of progress and what kind of steps do you want to see DJ take this year? Dallas, you're talking about? Um, you know, obviously, DJ um, is a very skilled athlete. Um, kind of move, obviously, the running back last year. Just learning how to play the tailback position every single down. And uh, to watch Travis Homer work every single day. Uh, should be a great learning lesson, for, for, not just for any running back, but just the way uh, any guy should practice. I mean, that dude will kill himself on that field. Um, he takes coaching very well. He's, he's really fundamentally sound. And he just made a lot of progress. Uh, obviously, playing in between the tackles is going to be, be, be DJ's biggest biggest adjustment um, from now going from being more of an athlete out in space to being in the back. But also pass protection, which he knows what to do. He's learning the fundamental techniques of it. And I um, mean, he's 220 pounds. He just got to play like it. Wish I was 220 when I played. I would absolutely punish people. And uh, he's not uh, getting super electric in space. We gotta gotta understand how he can use his skill set uh, to be the best player he can be. But he's making progress. I'm, I'm proud of him so far. Could you talk about um, Mike Harley and Jeff Thomas? What they add to this great 
like different Neat. sizes and shapes. I would say yeah. your receivers and how fast they are and just what they're doing now. Well, I mean, last thing you said, I mean, speed kills. I mean, those guys can run and run all day. Uh, you know, Mark, Mike has been the same guy for the most part since he's gotten here. He's never had to be taught how to work. Uh, he gives it up every single day. He will fight you two for nail for every single inch there is on the football field. Obviously, you know, size is it's sort of an issue for me. He's still putting on weight and progressing. Uh, but I feel really good about him. And, uh, you know, Jeff has probably had the biggest maturation process over last year than anybody on our whole offense. And uh, Jeff was, like, really up and down last year. He had some bright moments, and he kind of get tired going to tank. Stuff go wrong, he kind of go in the tank. And I'm just really pleased with the way he comes out from a mindset standpoint and, and works every day and really takes coaching from Coach Dugans. And I'm starting to really work itself into a really good football player. How does it help to have fun? asking this question this smaller guys some bigger guys all different sizes does that help at all with you uh, yeah I think it does I mean obviously being able to have more skilled guys to be able to put into a game so we can affect uh, defense in a different way uh, give them different personnel packages to get in the game and still run our whole offense and I mean the more guys you have the more guys you can obviously affect the defense with how nice to have Amon back out there what have you seen from him uh, the first few days of practice Amon Richards is different uh, when he is at 100% and getting back in the game should obviously been a while out of out of kind of the day-to-day -day grind of playing uh, that position every single day from a football standpoint. But he is a very skilled football player. He's obviously, you know, mature, got a bunch of game experience and uh, started to kind of lead that group well. And he's put some weight on, he's still the same speed. This is dynamic and explosive. He's got great ball skills. So we're definitely fighting about him. Two more for Coach. How big is the, the scrimmage this weekend going to be when you look at especially the freshmen? It's kind of going to be their first, some of their first real taste with the pop and the, the lights and the yeah. game situation. What do you want to see from that group? when you scrimmage? Yeah, I mean, I want to see how they handle the spotlight. I want to find out against LSU if the guys can handle pressure. And, and obviously, you can't simulate that environment, but you really see uh, who's going to fold, who's, who's not going to fold. You also kind of be able to tell who can process information, who's in their playbooks and studying, and uh, definitely earn the right to be able to play. Because you're not going to just play because you're talented. We, we can't play that many guys. We get to you know, play the whole group of with all this based off of talent. Uh, but just be able to separate themselves, themselves well and be able to just cut it loose and, and be physical. Like we got to have a tough, tough football team. And again, we got you know a few guys who have stepped up and, and become tougher, but it's not enough. Not I was going right to say, you always like to look for your alpha dogs. Is anybody starting to emerge in that role on offense? Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, Malik played the quarterback spot, so that spot should always be, you know, in, a, in an alpha position. And he definitely does, you know, try to take charge and take command. He's definitely been more consistent. Uh, Travis Homer don't, don't say a whole lot, but he don't have to. Just watch him, and he will motivate you. And I think guys are starting to kind of, you know, follow behind his lead some. You know, DJ is definitely an alpha male personality. He still got to continue to grow up and mature more, but he definitely uh, will, will speak to the group. And obviously, Tyler, like I said, is really, you know, taking charge and, and being vocal. You know. Thanks a lot, Coach. No problem. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you.